Mr. Moriarty. Got something on your mind? Hello to you. Hi. Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Yeah, I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy. You know the type. Maybe you've seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Yeah, that middle-agedness and all that. It is weird that Bethesda really went all in into the middle-aged thing. It's like they could have given him, I don't know, an eye patch. That would be cool. I would tell her. I'm looking for a guy with an eye patch. It's my dad. It's... No, it's the middle-aged. That's his most... This is like, you know, average height, average build, average hair. That's his... That's him. Did you see him? That... Oh, I see him. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, look, if you can give me... Oh, tough chick routine. That sounds like a rotisserie chicken. Look, if you can give me more information or point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. I still have to talk to this Moriarty. I figured it was Mr. Burke, but obviously it wasn't. How much of a room for a room? Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps up front. Can we ditch the company? Okay, then. Uh, what's the story with that ghoul? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Colin is? Where did he come from? He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for... Oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Oh. He bought him off slavers. That's really not the story he painted. Or the picture he painted, I suppose. Do you ever, uh, you know, uh, work with him? I... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we are supposed to be immediately clued in that she's a prostitute. And, well, it should have been obvious when she offered company for money. But she could do it as a side gig. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, do you work with him? With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well... <laughs> I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Mm. Why is Moriarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Mm-hmm. That's gotta be why. Not because he has nowhere else to go. Yeah, let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? So, uh, no, let's forget about the hire. What were you saying about radio stations? I, I noticed that when I came in. Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C., but the signal went down a while ago. Hmm. I think I heard him in the radio, so... The signal is just crap. It, It's not completely down. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio, though? You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Mm-hmm. What can you... T uh, also... Fighting the good fight. Interesting. What can you tell me about Moriarty's terminal? I mean, 
Do I know about Mort? Do you know about Moriarty's terminal? That stupid thing is his pride and joy. He keeps all of his dirty little secrets in it about everything that goes on in this godforsaken town. I once leaned on his shoulder when he was typing into it. He got pissed off and pushed me to the ground. Help me get into that terminal, Nova. Finding my dad means everything to me. Well, all right. You seem like a good kid. It isn't your fault Moriarty is such an asshole. Here's the password. Just don't mention to anyone that I gave it to you. Or I might be out of my ass like silver. Mm-hmm. And now I have Moriarty's password. It wouldn't have been a problem because I would have been able to hack it, I think. But uh, I'll, I'll have to go now. Goodbye. Really need to talk to this Moriarty. Miss West. Is hard on Gob because he's different. Colin, listen. I don't know why the settlers are behind the bar. Yeah, you think about that. It is the reason why he's hard on Gob is because Gob has no other option here, and the reason why Gob has no other option is because every other person, at least according to most likely how he sees the world, every other person won't hire him, and he sees the world like that because every person spits in his eye or something. How he, how he, however he put it. So it isn't really Moriarty who, who's bad on him; it's everybody as well. Of course, Moriarty is bad on him, though. That doesn't take away from Moriarty's shittiness. Hey, Gob. Good to see you again. Need a drink? Mm. I didn't ask you for this before. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. You know, just, my God. Maybe you've seen him. I can't talk about that anymore. Moriarty will beat me again if I do. Oh, I did ask you. Yeah. Where did you come from? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Mm-hmm. Will do. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. Fight the good fight. <laughs> what can you tell me about Moriarty's terminal? I mean, more than you have already. I hate that fucking thing. It's all he cares about. Information is a commodity, he keeps saying. I'd stay away from that thing if I were you. Hmm... I really need to get into that terminal, though. Oh, Mr. Moriarty never lets me back there. If you need to get into the terminal, you should talk to Nova. She'll help you. But it may be expensive if you catch my meaning. I don't, actually. Uh, time for me to go. Later. So you can't hire a room unless you sleep with Nova? Lucy West, hi. Excuse me, let me just have a sit here, if you don't mind me. Ah. Beautiful afternoon, or not evening, I think. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. Also, middle-aged men. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? So that was actually a pun, I think. Was that a pun? Was that supposed to be a pun? Because she did not deliver it like a pun. You know, because something to do, and you do Nova, it's it's a pun. It's the job. Yeah, sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Can you give me some more information about Arif Arafu? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is Arefu settlement? Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. She didn't pronounce it like she did the first time, did she? Do you suspect your family is in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Could also be that their letters aren't arriving. Who else lives in Arifu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. 
Then there's my family, the Ewer family, and a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Mm -hmm. Is there anything dangerous around there that I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Yeah, but it's just the letters that aren't arriving. Let me ask something else. Okay. I guess that's it. I have to go now. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Maybe yeah. I should look into that. Um, hi. Good to see you again, stranger. Who was saying hi to you, Bob? Anyway, uh, I suppose let's go upstairs. See if Moriarty is around. Don't even think of breaking into that. I, every time I look at the, I, okay. Okay. And it's kind of funny because they don't, they don't talk to you about you looking at things that aren't yours. Which I assume is a good thing because otherwise, you know, it'd be people complaining about you stealing every second. Because the only way to see if something is locked or not yours is by looking at it. And then they complain about it. Okay. Well, Moriarty isn't up here. And, uh... You, uh... Want a drink? Oh, his computer could be back here. I got nothing to say to you. Walter? Uh, huh? Yeah? What is it? I... What can I do to help around here? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. How many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Hmm. Can't you fix the pipes yourself? I could. But I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night. And I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. Hmm. So I really need to wait for the day. I'll keep it in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. What can you tell me about Megaton? What can I tell you about Megaton? Yes. Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. How's that for a piece of information? Slowly? Well, some people want it to kill you fast. What do you do around here? I take care of the water purification plant. That old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. Hmm. Does it, though? What's the reward of the round town? Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. Hmm. Well, I have to go now. Well, back to work. And the only thing that it is, it's... You have had a problem? That's the leaks? That's That's what the... That's the problem that you can't fix. Man, this guy fixes everything. Do you want something or are you just looking to get your ass beat? I was actually oh. looking for you. Good to see you. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father, the middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? My... What do you mean? My, my father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole. That he was born there as well. Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood of steel friend. 
And you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy Lloyd. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. It'd be really cool if the twist were was that mummy wasn't dead. She was the brotherhood of steel friend. But no. The that the start of the game is is not a false memory. I assume it isn't a memory at all, considering, you know, the babies. So my dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid. So I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Aw, just like that, huh? A hundred caps. Do you know a, a way I can earn some caps around here? All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Do uh, you want me to do your dirty work? Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps and I'm giving you a way to get them. It's just business. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with anyway. <laughs> hmm. That's... That's pretty cool. Uh, can you tell me where my father is then? I mean, yeah, you will. You will. So basically, you can skip that side quest by just giving him 100 caps right away. Although, that doesn't... That doesn't cut you off of actually meeting Silver. Because you can go... I think you can go to Springvale. And, uh, and she's still there. But you can... I think you could... I could also do that speech check and um, skip the whole thing altogether. Which is definitely a memory that I... Th that stuck with me from Fallout 3. This happens time and again throughout the main quest. Your speech checks are actually just a way to get yourself out of the quests that you have in the game. Which is a decision that Bethesda made. So, what's this all about, uh, Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Mm-hmm. Do you know anything about the area outside of Megaton? The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Because of the m money that I need. What can you tell me about Megaton, then? Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Fair enough. What do you do around here? I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. I'm not sure a poon is, but it could be... I, I think I know what it is. What's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. I couldn't. She was laughing about the, all the deadly things that surround the village that her family lives in. And that was the only time she laughed. Although that might also be an indicator that she was indeed afraid because, you know, laughter and all that. I have to go now. A ah, little bit of caps for so much information. Think about it. Nah, it isn't. It's fine. Can go to the computer and all that. Which I will not do, because, um... um Mr. Moriarty, sir. What did you say to me? What did you say to me? Did I give you permission to speak, a disgusting carps? Call it uh, Mr. Moriarty, sir. I, I just wanted to... to say how... Uh, 
you're looking quite dapper today, sir. Shut your gob, gob. No, Ain't that why I named you that to yeah, begin yeah. with? Because you talk too goddamn much. Now get your rotten ass back to work. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Um, you know, I'm getting a little sick yes, of living in the slums. Oh. They promised me that after a few months I could move Colin, into the town. listen. Wow. What is it now, Nova dear? Ah, it's the tips, Colin. Megaton, huh? Your customers are actually anyway, getting cheaper. I'll talk if that's even later. possible. Is a girl supposed to just lie down and take that? I remember a time when you screwed more and complained less, Nova dear. Ah, uh, but for the good old days. You're all hard. You know that, Colin? It's why you love me, Nova dear. If you need something from me, spill it. I was just paying attention to the way you treat your employees, I suppose. What's up? Uh, so, um, Colin, I guess I, this is yeah, not I, where I need to be. For room and board, I suppose. Look at Megaton during the night. Look at, of course, look at the map and see where things are. But I'm not going to do that. And uh, we definitely need to wait until daytime. Be like Creel's house over here. And we need to wait until daytime because I want to see about the leaks. I want to see if I can go into Springvale and, uh, and mess with that. Let's go into the women's bathroom here. See what we have in here. As it turns out, nothing. You see what I mean by the water being highly radioactive? Carton of cigarettes in there. People really don't like smoking. They just put it in the tar trash. Okay, so what do we have? Wait a minute. The pipe appears to be damaged, but the source of the leak isn't immediately clear. It'll take a master plumber to fix it. Can I actually fix it? You re repaired the leaking pipe. Wait, but it's nighttime. It's as nighttime as it gets. So, 30. I do have 30. Nice. I think I must have gotten a plus because of some of the things that I have equipped. I, I thought I had 25. Um, so he was lying. Also, it doesn't make any sense. Why would the water not be running in the night? Do people not wash up or drink during night? But that's beside the point. It, uh, he said, hey making a move huh yeah I am I was just talking about how he said that the, during the night he can't look for leaks and guess what I'm looking for leaks Jericho oh look another one of your pampered vault assholes look here vault asshole I don't like you stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble vault asshole if this game had a new Reno style town that'd be my nickname you don't look like you belong here though what's your story there ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. Have you ever considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? Out there, in the wastes, man. You must be bored to tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Nah. Yep. I think there might be more than that, but you're right. That sounds terrible. Nah. Yeah, you're right. Stupid idea, anyway. What do you know about the Wasteland? None of your fucking business. Did I miss something? What's your problem with me? You're from the outside, and I've lived too much of my life out there to trust every jackass nobody that wanders in from the Wasteland. You seem all right, though. So I'll cut you a deal. I'll answer your questions so long as you don't give me any more reason to distrust you. Got it? All right. So, what do you know about the Wasteland? I've said just about all I'm going to say about that. Uh, which is nothing. What do you do around here? Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> oh, so convincing him to go into the wasteland, which in this case I believe is uh, him becoming a follower, I it would basically rid Megaton of, well, at least, well, it's best shot in town, so 
probably bad for raids and its safety and all that. What's the word around town? Or, in other words, rumors, which is, this is just a straightforward t uh, take from Oblivion, basically. Oblivion had a similar dialogue system, except Bethesda didn't bother writing the dialogue system as in questions and stuff. They just had a word, rumors, and another one for, you know, town or something. And this is the rumors line. A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Go for the top shelf. On me. I'm gonna give him 20 caps. Don't you know how a bribe works? You give me money, and I give you information. In order to do that, you have to have money. Christ, kids. I don't have that money? Well, I have to go then. Come back if you need something. If I have something, I suppose. How much money do I have? Zero caps. I thought I had picked up some caps before. But no, we just heard about caps. That's why I assumed I had some caps. But I'm poor. Well, I guess we're gonna have to talk to Jericho in the future. If we... Oh, oh this is just a lookout area? Cool. In the future, if we... Oh no, it's through here. If we actually make any money. So that means I am gonna need to find a place to sleep. Good to see you. Yeah, you as well. Uh, I'm gonna need to find a place to sleep because I can't pay. That's his house over there. I can't pay for the night in an empty house that requires a key. I know exactly what it is though. Don't worry about it. We got another leak. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, attempt to fix that. 30. Everything is fine. Who are you, settler? Yes, indeed. So let's see. This is the this is the main part of town, right? This is the entrance. Yeah. Luxury apartment, commons. Yeah, we know where commons is. Saloon and supplies. Hey there. Hello. Uh, supplies is this way? Got the clinic here. The crater side supplies is what I mean. Oh, it's right here. And of course it is locked. Man. How are we gonna find a place to sleep? These people are the worst. They don't have... They have a commons, but they don't let me sleep there. Maybe the church of the children of the, the apocalypse will let me in. Children of the Atom. That's the one. Did you guys accept membership for a bed to sleep in? Because that would actually be quite realistic. And I suppose nice. There's squirrels too over here. You guys have squirrels? Wow. They they don't have cats in Fallout because everybody ate the cats. And and they, they don't have squirrels. And they have squirrels, I mean. 